Welcome to another video from Valencia Photography Workshops. This time it's my independent, unsponsored product review of the Lomography Digitalizer Scanning Mask. I start by assembling the product. Please see part one for the unboxing. Okay, so let's work through the instructions to put a piece of film in the Lomography Digitalizer Scanning Mask. This is a 120 piece of film. Um, okay, so step one. Unfold the mask by slightly pulling apart the two bars at the front where the Lomography logo is situated. Okay. Then attach the metal plate to the bottom of the mask. Now I found this on first attempt very confusing. It won't go inside. There's no way that metal plate will fit inside the mask, which was, I was assuming it would do. I couldn't get it to go in there. So I eventually decided that it has to just go underneath here, like this. I think that's right, it seems to fit in there, but it doesn't attach. There's no way that that will attach at this stage. Put it underneath and then put it back on the table. That's the only way I'm doing it, I can do it. Um, if uh, anyone from uh, Lomography is out there, they might let me know if that's right, because to me, it feels a bit strange, it's not actually attached. Now, take your 120 film and put it on the metal plate. What I liked about that was that it does fit in quite nicely in the film. If you cut your film into three, it fits on the plate with a little bit of room to spare at either end. Now, place the upper magnet film plate on the film, which is this. There's little holes in it. And there are little pins in the the bottom piece and that clips on there quite nicely. Close the scanning mask. So there we have the scanning mask closed. Now remove both plates from the top and bottom of the mask and insert the mask into your photo scanner. Your film is now ready to be scanned in all its full length beauty. So. That's quite hard. If you take the top one off though, some, you know, there's a strong connection between the magnets, which is good. And as you take that off, the bottom plate falls out. And you're left with your film in the scanning mask. What I like about it, I don't know if you can see this, but um, there's just enough room around it, certainly at the sides for the edges of the film to, to be showing, um, which can be a nice thing to scan. Or if you want to use the this holder, which I want to do to photograph my films, that's how I'm going to use it and try and photograph some of the edging as well. So that's my quick review of the Lomography digitalizer which is um, a film scanning mask for anyone who wants to scan negatives or slides using a flatbed scanner or perhaps to photograph them using a camera. A few small um, negatives. Um, the instructions a little bit confusing when it talks about attaching the base plate to the film holder 
as I as far as I can see it doesn't actually attach and so maybe a different word would need to be used though the name itself is actually quite hard to say digitalizer needs a bit of practice and um, I don't know if that puts people off or not but um, it doesn't exactly trip off the tongue it's got more positives than it's got negatives so it's very well made strong the magnets work very well to hold the film in very tightly and as far as I can see it keeps it reasonably flat um, but the proof of the pudding will be in the next video when I use a very basic setup to photograph negatives with my digital camera so please subscribe to stay in touch about new videos and particularly part three of this review of the Lomography Digitalizer.